Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing something that has helped me over the years. Some of you may not, well probably all of you may not be aware, but I have a tremor in my left hand that's attributed to the brain injury that occurred in, when I was 10 years old. This because more pronounced when I'm tired or hungry or uh, just I'm not in a good place. So what I'm about to share with you is helping me develop uh, stability in my left hand as well as helping me with coordination in my left hand as well as coordination on both sides of my body. To read this article I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for being here. As you listen to the article and questions come to mind, please send those questions to me. All questions are good questions. In the event that you'd like to leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. You may do so through the comment information page on Second Chance to Live at secondchancetolive.org or through the comment section here on YouTube. Here's the article. Neuroplasticity, Muscle Memory, Coordination, Agility, and Creating Hope. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live, my friend. In today's article, I would like to share something with you that is helping me to develop fine motor skills. As I've shared with you in the past, I'm a student of the martial arts. I train in the martial arts for various reasons, which among which is to increase neuroplasticity. According to MedicineNet.com, the definition of neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. Neuroplasticity allows the neurons and nerve cells in the brain to compensate for injury and disease and to adjust their activities in response to new, a new situation or to changes in their environment. Martial arts, <clears throat> excuse me, martial arts and Western boxing has helped me to work on specific muscle memory drills to find tune coordinated movements to repetition. In my training and drilling, I have spent countless hours and endless repetitions to develop and hone specific techniques using hands, my right and my left hand, the jab, cross, uppercut, hooks, and overhead punches with both sides of my body or both leads. I also drill elbow strikes, knee strikes, and tie kicks with both sides, or both my right and my left leads. I've done this a bazillion times to encode it within my brain, so that it's a natural experience for me when I do the kicks. I don't necessarily have to think about doing it, they're just re, um, responsive to what I practiced and drilled over time. I work on Wing Chun center line strikes on both sides, or both leads, right and left, as well as Jeet Kune Do blocks, trapping and strikes on both sides. Recently I resumed training in modern harness or Kali with single and double sticks to work on develop fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, muscle memory and agility. My goal is to be equally agile in both sides of my body, right and left. In all my training, I spend time executing drills and skills to activate muscles, ligaments, and joints to develop muscle memory, coordination, and agility. I spend extra time drilling my non-dominant side of the body or my left side by mirroring my dominant side or my right side. So the activities that I do on my right side, I do at the same time on my left side so that it's they're basically encoding what the right side is doing to the left side so that I'm moving in coordination. Uh, through time and re repetition I have found that I create hope for myself so by doing these exercises, these drills, a bazillion times I'm creating fun for myself and I'm also creating hope because I'm becoming better in what I do and as a person and my skills and my techniques and my abilities are improving on both sides of my body. 
In my opinion, training using weapons is not about the weapon itself, although the weapon is a tool, but about the movement incorporated using the weapon. Since I resumed training with single and double sticks, I have noticed that my fine muscle memory, hand-eye coordination, agility, and speed have all increased in my non-dominant and dominant leads, or both my right and my left hands. Today's thought. I share the above with you to encourage you to engage in activities, whatever activities that you enjoy and have fun doing, to develop muscle memory, coordination, and agility. By doing so, by doing these things, you, by doing the things that you enjoy, you will create fun for yourself. In the process of creating fun for yourself, time and repetition will be seen as an opportunity to work on and develop muscle memory, memory, coordination, and agility. Through time and repetition, you will find that you create hope for yourself. I want to thank you for making the decision to watch this video presentation. I really want to encourage you along these lines with this topic. For me, it has taken a lot of repetitions and, and many hours training at the gym and at the martial arts school over time to encode and to create the neural pathways that I didn't have before or that weren't activated before. So I would really encourage you to do whatever you enjoy doing a bazillion times until you find that it becomes natural to you. That is what I'm doing and that is what I'm finding. I'm enjoying my experience and I'm becoming a better martial artist in the process. I'll say so long for now. Again, I wanna encourage you as I need to remember, please do not give up on yourself, a loving God or your process because more is going to be revealed with time and in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and God bless both you and your family. Thank you again for your time. So long now.